cross-platform UI framework. Yeah. Which is <laughs> a cross-platform UI framework, formerly called Perspex, but we had to change the name due to potential trademark issues. It's based on WPF and the XAML family, where it makes sense. Um, there's a fair bit in there that doesn't make sense, mainly because of the age of those things. So we try to bring them up to date um, with new language features like link, async, await, etc., cetera, um, and using modern patterns such as um, reactive extensions, which we use for bindings. And we also try and add proven features from other places such as web development, et cetera. Ah. You can hear me. Um, we're currently in late alpha, um, hopefully with a beta later this year, maybe. Um, as I said, cross-platform, we have um, two subsystems, one for windowing and one for rendering. On Windows, we use Win32 and Direct2D. On Linux and Macs, we use GTK and Cairo. Um, where platforms support those, you can mix and match if you, should you want to, but you probably wouldn't want to. Um, at, but we're in the process of moving from Cairo to Skia via Skia Sharp. Um, at the moment, we need more support from Skia Sharp for missing features there. And there is also experimental support for iOS and Android. Um, as I say, um, we use XAML, um, though we're not tied to XAML. Our aim is to just be just another markup language, um, for XAML to be just another markup language. We have a basic Visual Studio visualizer, not a designer, um, as it only visualizes what you have typed in. Um, and um, here I'm just going to um, show a couple of XAML improvements. We have more, but there's not much time. Um, so to bind to another control in WPF, you need to use the long form um, binding element name equals control name path equals text, um, which is a bit of a pain. Um, in Avalonia, you can just put a hash before the name of the control dot text to, to the property, and that will give you the same result. Um, we also support binding negation. Um, just by putting a bang before the property path, um, which is a feature I personally um, miss when I go back to WPF. Um, a pain point of the WPF and XAML family is styling, um, in that um, you can only have one style per control, except for using based on, which is very limiting. Uh, it doesn't really work very well. And so um, we use a CSS-like um, system in Avalonia. Um, which is similar to CSS, but also similar to um, WPF styling. So here you can see um, we define a style with a selector. The selector is a CSS type selector, um, which is saying text block with the H1 class, and then um, setters for the properties. Um, and then you just de define the um, text box with the classes attribute. That's, um, that works the same as class in, uh, in HTML. Um, and as those classes are added and removed, the styles are detached and reattached, so that um, takes the place of property triggers and visual state manager. Um, we use reactive extensions for binding, so to get an observable for a property, you just do um, control.getobservable on the property. Um, you can bind properties to observables, so here on the second example, we're getting an observable, um, prepending hello and binding that back to another control. Um, here's an example of something that someone's building, which is a um, IDE written in Avalonia. Uh, and even despite the alpha state, they've managed to do quite a lot. Um, there's also a um, drawing package called Core2D, which is um, reasonably far along. So people are actually building stuff with it at the moment, even though there's quite a lot left to do. Um, we've just added item virtualization that needs stabilizing. There's quite a few bugs there. Um, the main thing left to do is rewrite the rendering subsystem um, because we render the whole scene on ev any every frame right now. I don't know if there's anyone here who knows how to do that properly. Please let me know if there is. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to bring the skier um, render up to parity. Um, there are various missing controls and features missing from controls. Um, we need to improve the designer, which is very basic at the moment. Um, we'd like to add net, .NET Core support. We currently see, um, target PCL Profile 7, I believe, so it should be easy enough to add, but we're just waiting for the um, CS Proj um, to, be, to, to support .NET Core. And um, finally, there's a lot of work to do on performance and memory usage. Um, 
we're leaving optimization till the end. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to contribute, those are the URLs. Um, drop into our Gitter. Um, and thank you. Thank you, Stephen.